if I click on the plus sign, upload a file and click on upload, the upload is complete. If I go to my storage bucket, I can see the file. In this video, we are going to learn about the upload file to storage bucket and how to use the file picker entire design I'm going to show. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, to achieve this, the very first thing I will do, I have taken a container layout and inside that I am going to add the file picker. Click on the plus sign and on the right hand side if you see there is a file picker. So let's drag and drop this file picker. Done. Next thing also we need for our design is a button. So I will click on this plus sign and I am going to drag and drop a button. Okay. So two things I have got it for my design. Now next thing let's configure the first activity which is a file picker activity. For this let's click on general and in the label I am going to say upload a file. Okay, I am saying upload a file and then there are a couple of other options. How much MB you need? Let's say 2 MB you would like to restrict the size you can do it here. Okay, so I will keep it to 10 MB or let's change it to 5 MB let's say maximum size or 2 MB depending on the requirement you can do it here. Then very important aspect is allowed file types. If you click on this dot it tells you the information icon what kind of files you would like to allow the user to do it. For example here we will take few examples like uh, PNG, PDF we will allow for example. So I will also show you when you upload a different kind of a file how it shows you an error. So here I am going to say uh, dot png comma then you put a dot uh, pdf i will allow okay these are the two different files if you want more files you have to just repeat comma dot extension and the last one you have to leave it as it is you don't have to put a comma at the end this is how the format is okay so once you have done it uh, custom error message if you want to but i think this is the important properties that you have to set the mb and the kind of files you would like to allow now after this there is a button here okay the button the moment it is clicked it should uh, it should be able to upload the file somewhere now where it should upload for this you need a storage bucket storage bucket means what storage bucket means anywhere to store a file like your hard drive is a place where you store different files similar way this is on the cloud storage buckets so for that simply log into cloud.orchestrator.com your orchestrator click on any of the folder and there you find the storage bucket okay storage bucket i am going to create a new storage bucket here so don't confuse with the word storage bucket it's just a space to save your data okay or kind of a hard drive you can say that, that is there on the cloud i'm going to give it a name let me name it as let's say test one and i'm going to click on add you can give a description for testing purpose and i'm going to click on add Okay, so now what happened? The storage bucket got created. Okay, now in this one, if I open this particular, if I click on this hyperlink, you can see it is completely blank. There is no data. It is just a space. All right. Now what I will do? I'll go back to my UiPath App Studio, and here I'm going to click on this inverted triangle and going to click on storage bucket. That means I am saying there is a storage bucket which is there on orchestrator. Hey. Please link that storage bucket to the UiPath App Studio and I am going to select the tenant, select the folder where it is, I am going to put a checkbox and click on add. So the storage bucket which was there in orchestrator now got linked with the app studio. Okay, So you can see if I highlight this, the storage bucket is there for testing purpose, storage bucket name, everything has come over here. Now the next thing. I'll go back to the main page. I will do the designing. I will select the button. I will change the name of the button to upload. Upload. And I'm going to use some icon. So I'll click here. And I will say upload. So there are different icons are there. I will select this one. Okay, looks good. Now this one we have to do a little bit of uh, setup. Okay, click on this upload button, click on events, and click on create rule. 
and here if you scroll down here you find something called upload file to storage bucket only when you scroll down you will find it upload file to storage bucket now how to configure this we have to learn okay how how do i configure this i have to teach you now the, look at this it is saying file to upload which file would you like to upload if you keep your mouse cursor here and you know type a equal symbol the moment you type a equal symbol what happens this is what would appear and i have to drag and drop this entire you can see file picker dot value the entire uh, control name is coming here if you expand it its properties are coming i don't need the properties rather i need the entire control so i'll double click on this so what would happen the file picker has come here that means anything getting uploaded to this file picker control you should know that is a input for you and you need to upload it where you have to upload to the storage bucket so you have to provide the storage bucket name as well here so i'll click here and then this will appear automatically i'm going to select the storage bucket done this much is understood now let's move on the next property says auto generate name that means while you are uploading it may happen you might pick the same file twice or thrice then there will be a duplicate it will override the existing file if the names are same so when you check this box auto generate name what would happen it is going to add some numeric values to it so that it remains unique every time even though you are uploading a same file it will not override the existing file that is why it is recommended to enable auto generate name however if you don't need it you can uncheck it that is the purpose of it and you can see the description over here okay um, now there is a box here called when completed when completed and there is a button here upload file name okay how to use it many people will have trouble many people will have trouble on how to use it so let me show you when completed so i am going to use a small activity here called set values and yesterday i taught you how to use set values yes so here what i will do i will save whatever the file is getting saved with a name auto generate name right it is going to generate a name large some numeric values end of it so i need that file name to be stored in a variable for that i'll click on this item to set and scroll down and i'm going to create a variable here okay let me bring it to little right okay uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, set create a variable app variable and i'm going to simply give it a name as a so that you don't get confused with the name so i've kept a simple variable a and i'm going to double click on this so what happened the a has come over here the a has come over here now the value to set so the file getting uploaded has a variable uploaded file name so whatever name it is auto generating right that gets stored in the uploaded file name i want the whatever the value is there inside that should be carried over to a so that i can use it in my workflow later now for that if you drag and drop it doesn't work see and i'm pretty sure many people will have problem here why it is not working i'll tell you how it is how it will work you put a equal symbol first okay click somewhere outside you get this error incomplete expression drag and drop this here fine for the expression to complete this is how you will have to do it now let's say once the name is getting uploaded i want it it gets into the variable a i want to see the value of it so how to see the value of it there is a small plus sign here i'll click on this and uh, once again plus sign and then here i will use a so message and here instead of title i am going to write the variable a just to see what value is coming from the variable a now the variable will not work like this you have to write a equal symbol and then go to a variable and double click on it okay so done uh, i'll delete rest of the things delete and i'll keep it as info uh, keep it for let's say 10 seconds okay all done everything is set i am going to close this now let's run it in a preview mode so last time i have allowed only uh, P, uh, png and pdf right so let me try to upload something else okay okay give it few seconds so it has come i am going to click on this plus sign uh, let me select some excel file i think i had one excel file okay here on the right hand side uh, i'll have to select all it it is automatically saying png and pdf it should only select png pdf set. so i'll select all files i'll just show you what happens if you select any other kind of a file let's i'm selecting an xlx file click on open 
immediately it tells you file type is not allowed and it has become red getting it so let me change it to some of the file that's a png file it is allowed and it's fine now if i click on upload this may 03 2023 file got uploaded with the name see some kind of characters have got b3a61 and all that now if i go back to the storage bucket and refresh it and you can see the file has come here okay so with this example you have understood how the file picker and upload storage storage bucket process has to be configured in uipath apps to work so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care and do not forget to subscribe